Hey guys, everyone! Welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming. Thank you for all you guys' support lately. I'm feeling so much love. Hopefully, you guys will continue to support. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook for more. So today, I'm gonna show you a new deck, which is, I think, it's kind of free to play because some of the cards you can actually use for other alternative, which I will show you. So I have success on this deck against Red Eye Zombie, Cyber Angel, and Mac deck, and Hazy Frame as well. So to me, this firing power is pretty good with the effect. So let me just go through with you guys. So basically, I have three Karibo. So you guys may say that it's not free to play, but you can actually swap this with any other cards that turn the opponent face down or in defense position. So next, I have two of the Brad Bakios. So actually, if you have three from PvP rewards, you only need two Bola. So that's one lesser for you guys. And what does Brad Bakios does is that when it's normal summon, I can target one monster on the field, change that target to face up defense. So what what is all this deck about? This deck is about minus Dinos Ninja. Basically, is I will turn of them in defense position or face down position and use the effect of ninja grandmaster sasuke to destroy the opponent monster or white ninja to destroy any one uh, defense position monster on the field either face up or face down so i back up with three econ to turn them face down i have two flat gate so maybe you have one but uh you can have other alternative alternative as well like side security op there's three of them there that can turn opponent uh, in defense position i have this two tech card i have been promoting xin jang hu for a very long time so hopefully you guys uh did open the box and get two of them because this is so wider because of so much back row as of now so make sure you have at least two because um, newbies is a free uh, level up gift as well as the windstorm so i hope you guys enjoy the video remember to give a like and subscribe and have fun so the first matchup was against mac deck so basically it's pretty simple since i have the heart of the card So I'm going first, it's okay for a boy. My skin. So I open up with two trap and one spell one spell card. It's not a problem, I just forget it. I don't want to deal any damage to my side. I use Xing Jang Hu to knock down Rare Matter Moth at Econ. I just set a white ninja because I want to destroy this face down defense card. So next turn, he summon a uh, Sergeant Electro. Don't panic. When he summon, don't pin anything unless he activates his effect. Then you use the one that he's pinned on, change it to defense. Simple as that. So next, I got another Vite Ninja, but I just flip up first to destroy Sergeant Electro because he's gonna be a pain, pain in the ass. I don't normally summon this guy to attack to go for a bit more damage because I have, an, I have another Econ, it's just for back row protection purposes, just play slow because this is all about countering, that's what Ninja does. They just evade, attack and just sneak through at the back. So with this, I pretty much have all the hearts of the cart. So I flip up White Ninja, destroy this and it's time for the OTK. Easy peasy. I hope you guys enjoy this deck. I kind of like like it, but I was struggling struggling with tragedy tragedy trap card. But I decided to go with a try of this, and it is pretty successful and it's fun. So I hope you guys like it. But feel free to leave your comments down below for more inputs on suggestion. So against my Valentine, I was like, oh, is he playing Happy Lady? Because I'll be afraid of Happy Lady with my back row. So it's Aroma strategy. So I was kind of like hazy frame. Can I can I win him? But I believe 
the match would tell by itself. So I changed I was like, oh dear, it's just gonna be OTK. But he has a Cyberus, so uh, I was like, okay, no big deal. I win Storm because Cyberus, I can't target it with any cards effect. Pretty much it's like anything that target it, but Windstorm is like just general. So I just use Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke just to destroy it. And pretty much here is our story. So I waited. On my next turn, I did not summon Red Brachios because that's a warm disruption. I just want to give it some damage. So I waited and now with two with so much monster in my hand, I decided to send out back Bakios. And but I turned to Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke in defense because I don't want both of my attacking monster to lose any attack. So this is the difference between good and I mean average player. So I left with 200, I still have 1800 here. And he did not attack me because he has no idea what is here. But it's okay because I can go for the OTK. I uh, enemy control tribute summon and bad Brachios attack. Easy peasy. Like a breakfast. So my scan is very important uh, for this deck because it allows you to play comfortably. Because your front row is pretty weak I would say. Because of the weak attack but it's pretty much you need to know your back the opponent back row to win this game another Pegasus so my scan versus my scan hope your boy have the success of the my so at this point I was like oh dear cyber angel first time I would say second time I had success before which is that so he just take one I sent up Black Brachios to quickly try to do some damage. Set down Econ just in case he summoned up uh, Cyber Angel Dakini. I can tribute summon. Frog Gate if I need to. Xing Jenghu is useless against Cyber Angel, so don't bother. I want to free up my back row. So next, he used Cy Cyber Piety Angel. The little pinky. So now, next, he do a combo Machine Angel Reacher. Send up Black Angel Bantan. At this point of time, when he attacked me, I turned to defense. I was struggling, do I want to fraggate him? Because by fraggating him, he's always on defense, which means that I can attack him easily, but I decided not to. So I bola him to defense, attack once, he used the machine angel reacher effect, and next he have another little pinky for his bikini monster activation. So he summoned the Cyber Angel Dikini, but always watch up on this kind of turn because take a look, Cyber Angel Dikini effects activate. So on this, you can use the Econ Take to destroy Dikini. Never Econ Take Dikini if this effect is not activated because he will just go back to his front row at the next turn. So. I just throw away his Dikini. I take this bro because I prefer to use Curse of Anubis in the next turn when he has more monster. So I got another Econ. I was like, oh damn, I'm, I'm losing. I'm definitely gone. I'm a goner. So he Dikini now with no monster. And luckily, your boy was smart earlier. I did not Floodgate him. So I used Floodgate and I used Econ to put both of them in defense position and the heart of the card Ninja Grandmaster Sashuke so I use this effect destroy Bantan easily and pretty much here I know that he's pretty much dead because Cyber Angel deck usually when at turn 10 most of their reacher card is burned out so I just need to play it slow and smartly so I use Black Brachios effect to turn it face up I mean Flip it to defense position so I can attack it. No doubt about that. And he was showing me anti. I was like, what the hell is this? But it's okay. Your boy got it covered. He has no chance to summon any monster on the field. And I would just go for the OTK. So 
don't tell don't tell me I didn't share with you this deck has success against cyber angel hazy frame mag and I will be showing you some the last uh, replay will be a red eye zombie so make sure you stay tuned because that was the actually the first game and I was like okay this is the deck I want rather than going to tragedy defend uh, the trap card so this guy is kind of creative I think it's something that people can consider playing he has fire at king island he destroyed a warm room I was like okay <laughs> some kind of tilter and cancer deck here so he mount up 3 of mine I don't really give a damn and he have powerful rebirth so I know that it's a super mounting deck so as of now I I did not want to ac activate I didn't want to summon this or summon that because I want to destroy this so he used his one worm again destroy throw 3 cards in my, in my deck again I was like oh god and with the shadow game, I'm pretty much deckless and lifeless. So I throw away Econ because that's the effect. So I Xing Jang Hu this turn because this is a powerful rebirth. I do not wish the warm room will come up again. So I have no choice to sing Xing Jang Hu my windstorm and powerful rebirth because I know that he he won't attack me at all. So this is one thing that you can do. So I use Black Bacchus to turn it to face down uh, to defense position for a white ninja. So this is one of combo you can do. Send up Black Bacchus, send the opponent cut to defense and flip up white ninja. This is one of the combo I like and he uses Shadow Skier again and he uses Spire King, throw up more Womb Womb. I was like okay, I left with two cuts, what next? And luckily, I have a frag gate to destroy any damage, so I still got it. It was kind of fun against this style of players because you have to play differently. It trains you somehow. So this is this will be the last replay against Bread Eye Zombie. So hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. I'll be streaming in about uh, one hour time. So make sure you join my stream and let's have some interaction and have some fun. Duel. So I open up with a pretty good hand, Xin Jen Hu and Cousin of Anubis. But I was quite positive because I only have two Black Brachios but it's always in my starting hand so it, it kind of loves me. He knows that I'm going to put out Facebook on this so he, he wants to be in the limelight. So I Xin Jen Hu to face down. Which is so so good to be to be doing that. Open fear or just send an attack. And he has a red eye insight. Throw out red eye zombie. And red eye spirit set. So no problem. I got Cursor of Nubis and two Bola ready. And this I forced to, I, I attack it because I want to force up this red red eye zombie. I set a white ninja so I know I can destroy him in the next turn. So he tried to attack my white ninja. I I will protect it with my life because I will be doing the free up effect. I set up and I set down a white ninja to prepare myself for the next uh, red eye zombie. So this is quite important. And he just sat for mirror wall. I thought I got game here, but my attack wasn't really enough, so it's okay. I just wait for the next turn, which he show me more. Summoning power. Gonzuki, Minot Gonzuki. Gonzuki effect, get out. This boss. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. Bit down. So he some more have anti-magic arrow. But I have a bola. So he tried to attack my back Bakios, but I use a bola. Flip up white ninja. Destroy the red eye dragon. He can take for the OTK. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and join me on my live stream later. I will be streaming in about one hour time. Be sure to follow me on my Facebook. I will be giving a uh, live more promptly updates and uploads there. Alright. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and peace.
peace.